ShireSociety.com. It has been said, and perhaps said well, Kurdistan is a faraway country of which we know little. Certainly most Americans know very little of the grave sacrifices, the heroic battles, and the even more heroic restraint, the democratic and largely peaceable aspirations of this tortured yet generally moderate nation as yet unrecognized by the great powers. Surely they know only the most limited details of the long, unwavering, seemingly unwaverable loyalty and steadfastness of this long persecuted people have shown toward their American allies, not only its government, but its people, and the face of even the wickedest betrayals, even the most deadly abuses, but distant be it from any of us to acknowledge our debt of gratitude to them. His struggle is so much less tainted than our own. If it can be said that the American government's struggles are our own. Riven and sundered into three parts by the cruel and unthinking hand or hands of the Versailles powers or perhaps even those longer dead, subjected to bombardments of deadly gas and the hungry hand of dictators, the vicious privations of the Islamic State, and the rapacious absorption by the Iraqi one. These long-suffering but patient peoples have not resorted to the dubious expedience of large-scale atrocity or fanatical rule would have borne themselves with a dignity which would be alien to most in this bloated empire of bloated people, barely half of whom even seem able to tolerate the presence of an undocumented helper. This deprived yet poised race now faces the fate of a modern Czechoslovakia, a modern Munich, and an invasion into their realms of the most naked kind by an autocratic Turkish regime of genocidal parentage unreconstructed at least in part since the days almost within living memory of the killing fields at Armenia and the prisoner killing squads at Gallipoli and what happens to the solid Turkish woman of conscience who says as much on a sign at Ankara or Istanbul? What happens even if she gathers her friends for a demonstration against the closing of a park? What horrors or tragedies seem to await the bystanding targets of the sick man's buffer zone, if it even remains such and does not result in an incorporation or further incursion as did the Czechoslovak debacle of 1939. And
and 38. It is false to us who believe in freedom, uh, but not freedom through taxation, to propose solutions, and now that the United States government has done arguably the right thing at the wrong time, and perhaps in the wrong place, withdrawing its token force of warriors and green lighting its cruel and long remembered ally long remembered as it is in tales of terror throughout the Balkans throughout the Arab lands before I may suggest your course of action I must recount my own it is not memorable and it will little change the world but it is more than nothing I have volunteered to assist the Kurdish project though not in an unlimited manner and I have recognized on behalf of my organization in hexit.com the independence of Kurdistan and I urge you uh, to do the same uh, they are our brothers in secession if like us you consistently favor this course for all who wish it they are our brothers uh, generally speaking in tolerance relatively speaking and the uh, constraints though imperfect of democratic rule imagine what would occur if a cross-section of political and private organizations around this country around its empire were to unilaterally recognize the independence of this great yet small potentate or a, a principality perhaps we should say perhaps we should not what if government ministers and warriors of this empire were to resign their sordid positions and make themselves available in some manner for the defense or assistance of Kurdistan and the effect of even one doing so could be magnetical there are the more obvious options of demonstration at a Turkish consulate there is surely one near each of us and there is the prospect of monetary humanitarian aid and the important matter is to do more than nothing as the Mahatma said what you do will be insignificant but it is very important that you do it. If you love liberty, declare your independence by signing the Shire Society Declaration at ShireSociety.com.